All right, so we made it to the peak of the mountain to spread the ashes after defeating that dragon, which was easily the best fight in this game so far. I'm just wondering while looking at this view, didn't it mention that there was like a yellow barrier through the trees around our house? So is that where we lived? That has to be, right? Think about how much we traveled. That's insane. And now we're all the way up here. Also about the cliffhanger where we left off, there was that hidden voice, that mysterious person that was talking. You hear those voices too, right? Yes, be silent. His voice is so small to me. You know why we're here. Manage to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. Balder? You brought company this time. That this next snap did not kill him? What the hell? Thor then what would... to grace me with their presence. Tell me. Well, it's not Balder. You two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy. The tattooed man. Oh, it is Balder. He now Three travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You they talking to a tree? Alive, aren't you? It's kind of confusing. Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! Damn! We just rejected the shit out of them. Well, no is that Thor? Looking. We'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget. He did call them as children of Odin. We really are, aren't we? Oh, shut up, you idiot. Bro, Baldur's a lot. How strong are they? After that fight, he lived. He seemed dead, honestly. So that is. I had a feeling he's coming back, though. There's no way they show a character that OP just to, like, make him die in the beginning. But that's still insane. I like how they were talking about Kratos and his son. We were literally just right here and they don't know it. Or they do. We could be getting ambushed. That's what I'm scared of. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling oh, is... with a child. It is a man who is like in a tree. We check their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. We gotta be safe. Check. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who How does he you? know? Me. I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. <laughs> he doesn't know about that one. Odin's had me imprisoned here for it. So much for smartest men. Nine winters. I'm a clever Damn, lad. That's a long time. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here no in Midgard. Way. It's in Jotunheim. We Down just wasted giants. our time coming up here. No. The whole time is not. The highest peak is not here. Giant. Take a look. Yo, we had to climb this big ass mountain, and there's a, a higher peak than this. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Oh, thank Can't God. We, that bridge? we found we out before spreading the ashes. When the giants in the wrong destroyed area. all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. Can we trust him? I guess we gotta free him. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Uh huh? <laughs> Odin made sure that no weapon, Crazy not even story. Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using old magic. Old oh, magic. Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. 
Big he risk. tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. I'm already hating Odin. Every single day. This. This isn't living. I guess he's better off getting his head chopped Very than living well. getting tortured oh, every day. I can't day. watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. You want there to really is tell much him. about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? Mm. I'm going to cut off your head now. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> oh. Barely any gore compared to what happened to Helios. This guy had it easy. <laughs> Alright, now we're carrying another head in a God of War game. <laughs> like every other one. Yuna, we're going to Yuna. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's that's, that's lit. Inconvenient. Yeah, no, it is exciting, that's, honestly. That's what I was going to say. Wait, but it's like it's not just me that notices, right? Every God of War game, we're carrying around a chopped head. Some things just never change. First, what was it? It was the Medusa head. Then another like similar Medusa head in God of War Two. Then God of War Three was Helios, and now we got this guy. So this is the bridge to Yodna. I guess Mimir will help us figure out how to get through it, if we can bring it back to life. Again, thank God we didn't spread the ashes here, because that would have been such a waste, and then finding out later that the highest peak wasn't even in Midgard. Imagine how much that would have sucked. Alright, so this guy's completely dead. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. You can literally see it from here. Where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. You seem nice. Before you cut off his head. I mean, Mimir did claim he was the smartest man alive, so I think... Like, in his situation, he knows it most, and cutting off his head was the wisest, wisest decision. According to him. Whoa, what the hell is this place? Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. <laughs> I was getting off the path too. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer, though. Balder. And you fought him and won. Yes. That was Why a lead battle. Sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Oh, he's Thor's brother? Why is this happening? Wait, wait, wait. Raise the head, you oh, yeah, because they're both Odin's son. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I, where you came from, mother, the father. Now is not the time for that. Wonder when he'll yes. tell him. I want Atreus to know that his father is a god. I mean, that means Atreus is a god too. I guess there's a reason he's keeping it secret. Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Dude, Brock is opposite of Sindri. No, fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Tanker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. <clears throat> Fix it up. You eating well enough? 
I guess. Good. Oh, he still cares about his brother. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? <laughs> Dude, I just love Brock's personality. So wrapped up in his work, Sentry has the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit pister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? Trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. I remember it, surprisingly. Oh, wait, we gotta go down the stairs. <laughs> Dying bird. I thought that was an Odin one. I just killed the innocent seagull, whatever. I think we gotta go through like a cave. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That one. Behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. I guess that's why Kratos fell in love with her. Because she was a good fighter. Probably like a turn on for Kratos. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? Where Tell me a story about killing your father. Ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish. While the tortoise is steady and disciplined, the tortoise wins. You what a boring ass story. Stories, have you? Bro gave us that free like elementary school story about um slow and steady wins a race type shit. At least now we can destroy the uh, really the Did electric really crystals thing. Bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life. Can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Yo! <laughs> Imagine he died for that. That would suck just to get fed to the fish. Oh, I want to try this on him. Got a new ability that breaks his... his block. Now it's making way more sense. Remember when I first got here, I was wondering how to like get the chests in this area and now it's like we got a lot of new abilities. Makes it way easier. I bet this will lead out. Turn back AC. Guess the guys are welcome here. Good. So we can be here in peace. <gasps> There he is! I hope he remembers us. Oh, the giant turtle? How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? <laughs> he was Charlie? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Yo, my Charlie. man Charlie, what's up? How you doing? Oh, this is good. Yo, get away from my man Charlie! <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. All up, son. I'm gonna go get the milk. Seem like it. he was getting in front of the axe. Can you read it? Yes, sir. 
Death to the Raven God. Lord of the Hang. I'm gonna need health. Another one of those sandals. Ooh. Curious about what that does. And I've been seeing this a lot. Probably gonna have to find something to it activate it later on Falcon, in the game. Hawk, and turtle dove. Some are lost in oceans above. Huh? There's a nice chest in there. Alright, let's go in. Father, she is here! Where is she? I don't see her. Oh! It's so good to she see was you camouflaged. Again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look how much he loves oh. her already. It's Can like his mom. Head back to life? I'm not sure I understand what... He just got Wait. straight to the point. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. Don't tell me they're bad. These arrows are dangerous. Oh! They're wicked. Burning them. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Wait, who gave us those arrows Do again? you understand? Say it! I understand. Was it Sentry? If I see them, Why I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Can we know Please, why? Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? He asked for it. At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. If she brings him to life, how does a head live without a body? I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. Yeah, sink that in. Sink that head inside. That's enough. Cook it. <laughs> Whoa, he's actually alive! Oh, Why did he have works. bugs in his mouth? She fed him bugs. Let me see him. How the hell is he actually alive? Just a head. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. Why did she just spit you on him? That's well. so disrespectful. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. <sighs> Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested Your Majesty? This. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. She's a goddess of Sorry. what? When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. Damn, she's you a goddess God. of all time. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. <laughs> Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. Mm, he doesn't no. trust her anymore. You're welcome. Everyone's keeping secrets. Damn, Kratos is so pissed about that. Why did you do that? We cannot yes. trust her. She's because related. She's a god? Yeah, she's I a... taught you nothing, boy. But she that is... us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Ooh. Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. He's Except, too OG. For me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. That's a long name. That's the name of the the, the snake, the serpent? Jormungandr. And then what was her name? Um, Freya. 
I'm trying to learn all these names. So she's a, I kind of expected she's not normal because look at her magic abilities. No one has it. She revived the damn head and then she knew Mimir. So she seemed like she was too knowledgeable. She had to be like a goddess. And Kratos just straight up <laughs> doesn't play around with that. He's like, nah, I don't trust you. So Mimir, why did Freya spit in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. He has no weaknesses? Did, that, Did I? What is the source yeah, of this power? Just well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my okay, brain it's a spell. are still coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. There's a lot of hurt? magic in this. I guess if there's a spell, that means probably it, you can do another spell to undo it. What is he pointing at? Huh, that was kind of weird. We're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Yeah, I got you. Oh, did he flip around? I guess he changed sleeping positions. Your Megander. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn. Now put my lips to the horn. Something with no lungs. Wait, how's Mimir even talking now that I think about it? I mean, it is magic, it's just funny seeing it. It's so cool. Why is he doing that? It just crushed on Thor. Had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the. Fat dobber. <laughs> He's probably sick of looking at it. He hates Thor. But I'm liking the serpent a lot. Hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> What is? <laughs> He's actually talking to the serpent. Thank God for Mimir. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, more. Come on, remember. Translation right now. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. Furious. What is it? Whoa, is he so close? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What do you mean what nothing to be concerned? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen oh, he's shifting now. the bridge. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that 
thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Alright. Oh, oh, we left our boat somewhere else. What happens if we blow the horn again? we should disturb Jormungandr without some reason. True. Where is... Where is this... The serp Oh. I noticed in the Norse world, there's so many smart-ass, like, gods and, like... Not just gods, like, even Mimir himself, they're just... They all know about Kratos somehow already. Like they always go like oh, they know he's a god right away as soon as they see him. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. I really need to know well, about that. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Be ready! the fight so much easier. Was well, there no more enemies? seen the finisher on him. It's like the same people from Alphine, they're here. This chisel we see. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> I like memory stories. There was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOM! Struck his son! Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. He's getting freezing Sadly, here. He caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. Oh. And? What happened next? You'll see. You'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? Hitting us with a cliffhanger? 
Is that from there, Sam? Wait, what? He fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, this little bag just got lucky. I guess Mimir is uh, very useful at this point. Instead of just rowing the boat, it'll be too boring, so now I guess to tell stories while we're doing it. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Yes, a very, very giant chisel. Is that a hand? Oh, this is the giant, right? That didn't seem to do anything. It's giving me like Kronos uh, throwback. Brother, looks like that crystal's running again. Oh, we gotta move in near the ice, then we explode it, right? So it breaks the ice, I'm assuming. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Props to Atreus for giving credit. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. I thought I was about to fall for a second, that would have sucked. the magic we need it's huge crystals up ahead and I'll find light crystal Remember I did one of those and then the enemies came out. Oh, this time I got loot. Alright, let's go up to this guy's big ass face. Oh, I thought that was him being alive. He's dead, right? For sure. of Thamur.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. <laughs> this should be entertaining. You gotta be smart. Boy. Right. Ooh. Wait, Thor with his whole like ass hammer can't get through this ice? That's kind of sad. I thought he's like a whole ass god of thunder and he can't break through this thick ice. Even Mimir felt it, that's how strong it was. Oof. There's more? Oh, big over. Why is that one so aggressive? Chill out. This one's getting stunned. I need I need to kill him. Or I need to ride him. I'm too focused right now to think about what I just said. No! Dude, he was so close! He was so dead! This is someone that's dodging. There we go! We got it! Now get your asses here! Let's finish him. That was a lit ass battle. Oh, hey. oh Sindri, what's up? Adequate. Thank you for the chain. I was wondering how the hell I'm gonna get up there. Wow, that was uh, something that that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfect. That was kind of satisfying. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. They are kind of suspicious, bro. These. It's a little trick. These dwarves. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. Where the hell is it? That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. Ah, that makes sense why they never get into fights and they're like everywhere it, uh, safe. It doesn't seem to work on dragons though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you were <laughs> True. He was getting attacked by the dragon. They just reminded me. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> there actually was. <laughs> you let him touch this again. <laughs> it's fun. Both of you can touch my axe. Share. <laughs> Come on, then. 
So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. <laughs> Yo, their job is so easy. Just tap the axe. Can you guess it? Telling you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Did I not hit? Boy, uh -huh. I don't really like jewelry, didn't he? Even bites his beard before. He's just dashing. No. For the snow cup, of course. My shop's right here. All right, we got his beard out of the way. For Kratos' plan, I think I can guess it, so... We're gonna somehow probably get an angle to shoot, if I'm not mistaken, there's that red crystal down here, right? Yeah, this big-ass one. We're gonna get an angle somehow to uh, shoot that with a lightning arrow, and then it's gonna explode all the ice. That's the only thing I could think of. This is nose. Oh, no, this is mouth. Okay, why am I? Leave him. Poor man, let him rest in peace. We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. I can't wait to see what the hell he's planning. This it looks like an OP Viking. Damn, he has a lot of health. This is like the toughest like minion yet. This sword is growing so much. Am I even dealing damage? Why is he so defensive? This guy has like maxed out defense and plays so safe. Okay, I'm dealing. Oh, I'm dealing some. I'm breaking his armor. I'm dealing some damage. I need more health. Let's see how much Atreus can deal. Whoa! Is that Balder? Oh. For some reason, I thought that was Balder throwing fire at me. He looked like him from far. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. He's freezing, he's freezing. Keep freezing him. This guy fights so weird. What do I do when he turns around like that? I think I just gotta wait. I can only hit him from the front. Oh, his armor broke. He's vulnerable now. Turn around. Oh, uh, I see. I gotta bait him in when he turns around. To shield himself. See, now I dodge. And then easy hit. Never mind. Still block this one. Our enemies are strong. They are getting stronger for sure, which is more exciting. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Thor sounds like a Nothing menace. At all. That's Can't wait to see him. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Alma! 
Another crystal. Huh. What now? Push on the ice, then shoot it? Okay. That was bad timing by me. Let's try again. Ooh. You got most of it. It's not enough. Again. Stealthy planet is not. <laughs> now we must free the other strap. That was so like loud and obvious. Why are we going up and what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. Good thinking. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need oh. something ridiculously heavy to... He's dropping the whole hammer on the ice. Good. Oh, that's lit. I can't wait to see that. Look at this view. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You're welcome to suggest a different one. Oh yeah, don't suggest. This is our only hope. I like when there's luck involved. It makes it more exciting to see what was gonna happen. This could go either right or wrong. What now? Hold tight. Oh man, wait, is this the last like piece? Yeah, this is the last thing holding it together. Here we go. Seems ill advised. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this plan is crazy. Jump. Oh. That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Damn. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh no! The floor is collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. We cannot, but Atreus can? Oh, right here? Go oh, through. Boy. It's like Kratos already knew before I broke it. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. Mm. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song mother used to sing. Do oh, I know that one? Winter that... Quiet head. <laughs> Go on, like let him sing. I want to hear it. Got it. Okay, wait, uh, it starts with winter, right? Winter, spring, spring is obviously that, summer is the sun. Ooh, wait, I'm tripping, what am I doing? Winter, then fall, so I'm going backwards, right? No, but Trey said... Winter, spring, summer, fall. Is that not it? Do it. Vet. Bar. Suma. House. It didn't work. What? But I know that's the order in the song Mom said. What was the song again? Boy. No, no, I don't want him to do it again. I... Suma. House. Okay, wait. He said to reverse this. I think it's reverse the song, so we should go summer first, right? <laughs> So we get summer. 
We lost Summer. That one doesn't have Summer on it. Spring is obviously the flower, Summer is the sun, and that's fall. Why is this not working? Oh, maybe I start from this side. From right to left. Why am I going from left to right? Winter, spring. Yeah, this is definitely the correct one. And then fall. There. That has to work. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Oh, the ground's healing. Nice. It's restored. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Yeah, just spam yeah. it. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Zawardo? Used to. Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Ooh. Oh, what is that? We're running out of time. There's a clock timer. I guess we have to kill the enemies like fast before it runs out. Gotta hurry up! Clear. Back to writing before the floor collapses. Clutch it up, Atreus. Nice. I have a feeling we're gonna get another wave of people attacking us. Yep. <laughs> the best way is to just keep knocking them like out of out of the edge. Damn, I bounced his ass on the wall. Back to writing. We're almost there. Oh, last stage. Nightmares are very irritating. Oh, 
Oh, not this thing. I hate that thing so much. Why did I just get like flash banged? What was that? Was that from the nightmare? Oh. Oh! Get off me! Wait, I thought we were so Did I mistaken something else for a door? Oh no, there it is. That is a door. Where's my axe? Oh, oh I see, I see. Father, the ball dropped away. I missed it. I was wondering why they made it so hard to hit them. Jump. Go, 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 go. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. <laughs> Dude, having a mirror here is honestly way better. Makes the journey more fun. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Do not ask if I'm strong enough. You should know this by now. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. There we go. Toss that big ass hammer nice. Got stuck again. We jump. Oh no, it's falling. Come. Jump on the axe? Or uh, the hammer? Do not panic. Why would I panic? That's why. <laughs> That's why we panic. Oh! This is so dangerous. Dude, thank God Atreus stayed near him. You're cracked, you know that. Uh, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Imagine Atreus separated from Kratos, like, in this situation. I'm so glad he held on to him. Because, like, whenever Kratos just holds on to Atreus, you know he's safe. I guess that seemed to work. Now we're under the ice. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. I was calling it a crystal, but it was a part of the chisel tip that went all the way down through his damn head. I love how it's like, instead of just two people on this journey, it feels like three now. We got a squad, even though one of them is just like a head. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.